The address led me to a dead-end alley at the end of a deadbeat mall. No wonder I'd never heard of Vera Security. The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Bottle stoppers, keychains, musical cards. Hi, I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for Vera's security. Yes, of course. It's the shop behind you. Thank you. Uh, the name's George, by the way. Call me Bassam. And do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. I have a resounding headache. Bad migraine, eh? The worst. The buzzing and flashing from the old sign is killing me. I thought the neon sign had potential until it broke. Is it your sign? No, the previous owners. It used to be a restaurant. But this is horrible. Adversely affecting my footfall and giving me a splitting headache. You want me to try fixing that sign for you? Do you know what you're doing? I'm very good at fixing things. Then please do. I'm no good at electricals. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. I took a good look at the sign. The wiring was exposed and the cover broken. No wonder it was flashing. I pulled the wire off. Well, that was one way to stop the letters flashing. Now only half the sign was illuminated. That seemed like a good name. Hey, Bissam. How about this? I know it's not your name, but... Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USBs. Glad you like it. You're a genius, George. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Help! What's wrong? There's a monster! What? Where? On the floor! Get rid of it! Oh, the cockroach! Yes, the cockroach! Help! Romanovs, a Russian brand cigarette, 
the pack was empty. As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches, but I never could resist. Come here, little fella. I was never going to catch it with my bare hands. I tipped out the matches. I couldn't catch it just by swiping at it. I'd need to entice it closer. Aha, uh -huh, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Do you happen to know a good way to catch a cockroach? To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it? And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. You need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. Rich tea. Oh, what's that, a cookie? The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, and yet curiously Moorish. I'll give it a try. Glad to help. Do you know anything about Vera's security over there? Not really. I haven't been here long, but neither have they by the looks of it. Why do you say that? Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. I'd made a great home for a little critter. I set down my clever trap. Now, all I had to do was wait. Gotcha! You are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. I bet you are. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you know if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, Cherie. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... The gloves. I just thought... Easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I have been reconstructed. A number of times. From the ground up. Yes? There's been a theft at Le Lizard Bleu. A painting's been stolen. Shame. Still, I'm sure you'll get over it. I believe your company set up the security. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't. Did. I've got all day. But I didn't. It says here that Vera was hired to do the security at the gallery. Didn't do a very good job, did you? Where did you get that? At the gallery. That job was signed off. You can't say we were to blame. I was getting a bad feeling. The place looked like a front, and the only person there wasn't helping. Maybe the office itself could give me more information. 
Are you done? Only I want to listen to this next race. Thanks. Please stay on the other side of the counter. It was like she had some kind of psychic power. She could just feel what I was trying to do. Hands off, mister. Can I just have a look? Certainly not. That book is very... private. Do you mind? I'm listening to the race. Annette was watching me like a hawk. Hello, we're a security. We make you secure. I wanted to see what secrets the book might contain. It was a photo. Of course, I grabbed it. What can I do for you? Yeah, yeah, you've shown me already. Recognize this? Hey, that's my photo. That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What is he to you? Oh, my Hector, that's what he is. My little Hector. Yeah, I thought you said you had nothing to do with the gallery. Look, here's how it is. I've only been here a few weeks. I had nothing to do with that gallery job. I just delivered the paperwork. So, who was the manager before you? I don't know. She just, one day, didn't come in for work. I shouldn't be talking to you. The boss told me to keep my mouth shut. The boss. Have you got his number or address? No, I've forgotten it. I mean, I never knew it. Annette, a serious crime has been committed. You're in a lot of trouble. I had nothing to do with it. Look, I need this job. I need the money. Anyway, it's only a silly old painting. No one got hurt. The gallery owner was shot. Badly? Yeah, he's pretty dead. Oh. This is a murder investigation. Now, who's your boss? I don't know. Honest, he faxes me if he wants anything. He? Who is he? I've never seen him, never met him. Hmm. Don't make trouble for poor Annette. Thanks. I was pretty sure Annette had told me all she was going to. She sounded scared. Time to put the thumb screws on Lane, and I knew just how. Time to confront Lane. The gallery was sealed off. The place looked empty. Lane wasn't exactly easy to miss, and it looked like he wasn't around. Hi. Monsieur. I'm looking for Mr. Lane. Has he been here? Oh, yes, monsieur. He came by earlier. 
told me he was off to console Henri's widow. I hope she's out. Hi. Monsieur. Do you recognize the woman in this photo? Uh, she was here the other night with Lane. They sneaked away to the gallery together, without paying their bill. My suspicions of Lane were mounting, but I didn't really think he had it in him. So Lane was consoling the widow. What a big heart that guy had. Did he have a grand scheme or just loose morals? Hello? This is George Stobart. May I come up? I'm sorry. This is a very inconvenient time. Come back later. I know that's you, Mr. Lane. I need to talk to you. Mr. Lane, does the name Annette mean anything to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I need to talk to Madame Dubois. I'm sure it can wait. Mm-hmm. If you don't let me in, I'll tell the police about your interesting connection to the security company. Dear Lord, George, you have the worst timing. Is this a bad time to accuse you of lying? What do you want? I've just come from Vera's security. So? Tell me about Annette. Who? From Vera security. I don't know any Annette. What do you know about the owner of Vera Security? I've never had the pleasure. I'm surprised you let your conquests keep souvenirs. Oh. Where did you get that? Annette lent it to me. Quit waving it around, for God's sake. Come on, Lane. Tell me about Annette. All right, all right. I had a fling with her, okay? Now keep your voice down, please. And you two fixed the security for the robbery? No, nothing like that. Anyway, the, the fling was a mistake. She turned out to be rather needy. I believe you. You're not a criminal. Just a lecherous old man. Less of the old, if you don't mind. As it happens, I make a lot of women happy. Especially when you leave them. Can you tell me anything about the owner of Vera? Annette told me he's some angry-looking Russian chap. Okay, Lane. Take off. You can't tell me what to do. You want me to show Bijou this picture? All right, all right, I'm going. You haven't heard the last of me, Stobart. Promise? And give me that photo! If Lane was telling the truth, that meant that Annette was lying. She said she'd never met the owner and was very keen to get rid of me. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that back office. 
Are you going to introduce yourself properly? Pleased to make your acquaintance, madame. My name's George Stobart. Call me Vigil. Hello, young man. Such a delight to have a new visitor. What can I do for you? I'm from the insurance company. I'm so sorry for your loss. Henri, my poor sauvage. He died in his prime. Could I just ask you a few questions? Well, why not? A little company might just pep me up, as you Americans might say. Henri was very brave at the gallery. He tried to stop the thief and paid the ultimate price. Henri was my lion and my little pussycat. How are you coping? I'm still trying to take it in, Cherie. Can you tell me about the gallery? Was the business doing well? The gallery was Henri's baby. He never spoke to me about it. So you weren't involved? Not at all. Business is not my thing. Your record player seems to be stuck on the same song. Yes. This song gives me great comfort. It reminds me of Henri. Bijou, I think someone involved with the gallery helped the thief. It wasn't Hector Lane. He's not devious enough. But who else? I don't know. But I will get to the bottom of it, I promise you. Thank you for your help, Bijou. My pleasure, young man. You come back any time. Bijou appeared to know nothing. I still couldn't discount Lane. Annette, on the other hand, had lied about Vera's security's owner. A subtle birthmark was the only blemish in the model's flawless skin. Sherry, please don't touch my table. I keep everything in perfect order. You have a beautiful home, Bijou. Oh, thank you. I do like beautiful things. A small stuffed dog sat on the table. Poor creature. Was that a tear in its glassy eye? Can I ask you a few questions? Truth or dare? Truth. And there was I hoping you'd say dare. <laughs> What's the song called? Jasmine, by the Airy Lobsters, before your time, I'm sure. It's a band that Henri fronted in the 70s. They got to number two in the Swedish charts. Big time, huh? What's the story behind the stuffed dog? Oh, Fifi. I was heartbroken when she went. I had her preserved so that we could be together forever. That's very touching. Isn't it? Thank you for your help, Fuji. My pleasure, young man. To come back any time. Henri was now dressed in a cheap suit. On balance, I preferred the waistcoat. Night was falling. Annette would have left for the evening. It was time to pay a visit to Vera Security.
The empty mall was lit by bright moonlight, the perfect ambiance for a little detective work. I wanted a good look at that back office. I just had to find a way in. There was no way I could force the shutter open with my bare hands. I needed to find another way. It was the shutter control. There was no sign of a button or a keyhole. It must have been controlled remotely. A wire ran up to the electrical box above. There was an electrical box up there, but I couldn't reach it from the ground. I popped the lid open. Inside was an air con unit and bingo, the master controls for the shutters. The wire connected the power supply to the air con. The wire connected the shutter motor to the master controller. I'd cut the wire in half. I hoped I was doing the right thing. My wire was too short to bridge the gap. I'd cut the wire in half. I hoped I was doing the right thing. That was close. The wire was live. That was close. The wire was live. I'd cut the wire in half. 
I hoped I was doing the right thing. In the drawer was a single Q-tip. It was my lucky day. It hadn't been used. The room was pitch black. I couldn't see a thing. corner of the room was a pizza delivery scooter, just like the one the killer had escaped on. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. Its service was long overdue. Oil had dripped from the scooter onto the floor. I smeared some oil onto the cotton bud. I tried to free the gears, but they were jammed solid. I smeared the gears with oil. It was time to see what was in the letter.
It was the letter from Henri confirming that Vera Security had the contract for the exhibition. And it also revealed who was in charge at Vera, a guy called Madofsky. At first glance, it all seemed pretty run of the mill. But why was Henri thanking Madofsky for being generous? And why was he pleased to represent him? Maybe Madofsky was the owner we'd been looking for. It didn't add up. I had a gut feeling. There was something fishy going on. I pocketed the letter and paperclip. The air vent had a tiny catch on the side. The paper clip was perfect for the job. There was definitely something in there. Now, what are you gotcha? Well, would you believe it? It was a gun. And very likely the one that had been used to shoot Henri. Aha! So, what have we here? L'Américain? Monsieur Stobart, you will rue the day you crossed my path, because now you are caught in my net like a little red herring. Inspector, I'm investigating the robbery. No, monsieur. You are breaking and entering an innocent storeroom. I found the murder weapon. Found? No. Planted? Yes. Mou, arrest this man and take him to the station. I shall squeeze you, Monsieur Stobart, until your pips squeak. Thanks, Ronnie. I just wish I'd got some better shots of the killer. Are you kidding? That stuff from the hip is very dramatic. You did good, Nico. So, what's next? Get me an interview with the owner, and you've got Sunday's front page. I'm on it already. Keep me up to speed. Let me know before you write anything up, okay? Of course. Oh, gotta go. Someone at the door. Monsieur? Are you Nicole Collard? Yes, can I help you? I need to sit down. You'd better come in. Would you like a glass of wine? Yes. Those stairs are a nightmare. Hmm, that's better. So, what can I do for you, monsieur? My name is Tiago Marquez. I saw your report on the robbery. I found your address. I came straight away. I needed to see you. And why is that? The stolen painting, La Malediction. It belongs to me. Ronnie had wanted me to interview the owner, and now here he was. Or rather, he was somebody who claimed to be the owner. So the stolen painting is yours. Tell me more. La Malediction belonged to my family in Catalonia, in the 30s, before the Civil War. So what was it doing here in Paris? The fascists stole it in 1938. They killed my father, but not me. I escaped. I have been looking for it ever since. You have to help me find it. Tell me about yourself. I am Tiago Marquez the rightful owner of La Malediction. 
What else is there to tell? You traveled all the way from Catalonia? No. Since the war, I've lived in France, in the southwest. And now I want the painting back. Did you lose all your family in the Civil War? When they came for us in 38, I fled with my mother. But my father was not so lucky. I'm sorry. I would have stayed and fought for freedom. But I was just a boy. You've got my attention, but if I'm to help you, I need more to go on. I have something. This old photograph. It is of me and my family. See the painting above the fireplace? Yes, it's La Maledicción. The photograph suddenly appeared to link the old man to the painting. You took the photographs at that robbery, huh? I did, yes. I need to see them. Why? Please, I must see them. All right. Here they are. This one was rejected. Georges got in the way. Typical. Who is this George? Just a friend. He insured the painting. So, he will know who is this liar who claims to own my painting. I don't think he does. He would have told me. This is the best shot I took. They used it in the paper. Yes, it is how I recognize La Malediction, my painting. It does look like the one in your photograph. So close. But now it is lost again. He's the thief making off with the painting. What is that tattoo on his arm? Looks like a skull and crossbones. Headhunters, hmm? You will find him, and then you will find my painting. I can try, monsieur. You must, mademoiselle. Mm, this shot didn't come out too well. It's perfect. Perfect? Finally, la malediction, in all its splendor, the lines, the color, the detail. It's been so long since I've seen it. Then take it. That shot is no good to me. Really? Thank you, mademoiselle. Marquez's story was very interesting, but I needed to corroborate it. I wondered if the gallery kept ownership records. And while I didn't wholly trust him, this was the one lead that I didn't want to lose. Where are you staying? What? Nowhere. Here, perhaps. I didn't want him to stay in my apartment. There was another solution. My neighbor is out of town for a few days. You could stay there. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you. Great. Let's go. Adam said that he would leave the spare key under the mat. My neighbor had left a key for me under the doormat. Which reminded me I hadn't watered his plants for a week. The key wasn't there. The gap was wide, but not wide enough for my fingers. Using the sticky chewing gum, I was able to fish out the key. This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, monsieur. 
Ronnie had promised me the front page if I got an interview with the painting's owner. And here was a crazy Spaniard claiming to be just that. I needed to find out who had put the painting up for sale. Maybe there was more to find at the gallery. Len was sitting outside the cafe. He looked dazed. Hello, Monsieur Len. Ah, the delectable Nicole Collard, super sleuth. How may I be of service? I was hoping I'd find you here. Always available for a lovely lady such as yourself. Henri's death, it must be so very hard for you. Yes, I shall miss him deeply. We had such a very special relationship. The loss is so hard to endure, even for a man of such inner strength as myself. What do you know about the owner of La Maladic Seal? That was Henri's business. He found the painting and did the deal with the owner. Would anybody else know anything about the owner? Not likely. He kept especially quiet about that one. But he always kept a manifest for every exhibition. I'm writing a follow-up piece on the gallery theft. Ah, so you need an inside view. Authoritative. Something like that. The police have finished in the gallery. We could chat in the office. It's much more comfortable. More intimate. I might even be able to rustle up a little bottle of champagne. Maybe later. I have some things to do first. Maybe next time, then. Thank you, Monsieur Len. At your service, toujours, madame. I needed to get inside, but the door was locked. I wasn't going to get anywhere without some help. Hello, Monsieur Lin. Well, hello again. So, how are things in the world of art? As always, intense, exciting, full of passion. An intoxicating blend, don't you think? That was clearly Lane's self-image. You mentioned the manifest. How would one get a look at that? One might start in the office. That's where Henri kept most of his paperwork. About the gallery. Of course, my dear. We can go there now, if you would like. That sounds great. We can discuss my ordeal over a glass of champagne. A cozy chat with Lane was the last thing I wanted. But it was my best hope, if I wanted to get a look around the office. So, what are we waiting for? After you, my dear. The place was heaving with junk. Finding what I wanted wouldn't be easy. As Lane sat down, something stuck out from beneath the cushion. It looked like a folder. Whatever it was, the police had missed it. I needed to get it. Come, join me on the couch. I'm ready for you. You will be gentle with me, won't you? Oh, I'm never gentle, Monsieur Lane. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Do call me Hector.
Lane hadn't noticed the folder. With that amount of padding, who would? The only way to get hold of it was to distract him. Monsieur Lane? Hector, please. Oh, Hector. Perhaps I will join you in that glass of champagne. But of course, champagne. Nature's balm in troubled times. To new friends! To love! Oh, mon dieu, that is so cold! Oops, silly me. I am so sorry. I'll have to dry this off. Don't you worry, my dear. In the folder was a list of all the paintings in the exhibition. The Maledictio had to be there. It was. And next to it was the owner's name. Mr. Medovsky. The police had obviously not spotted the folder. I put it back. I had what I needed for my story. Monsieur Lane, thanks for everything. But I think I hear my editor calling. Ma chérie, no need to leave so soon. It, it's only a little spillage.